You know, I was a bait boy when I was uh, eight years old. There was about ten guys that got together down at the base of the Manhattan Pier. They called it the Manhattan Beach Surf Club. And I'd hang on the rail for hours. I'd go to work early just so I could watch these guys, you know. On the weekends, sometimes for an excuse to drink, they would take a board up to the PV Cove and set it on fire and push it off the cliff as a surf sacrifice. And instead of uh, lighting this board on fire and throwing it off the cliff, they gave it to me for 15 bucks and just, they, they knocked out the sacrifice part and went straight to drinking. I remember the first wave to this day that I got from the outside on that big old redwood plank. The old switch went one way in, inside. From hanging off the rail, I knew it's something I'd wanted to do. When I caught that wave, man, that was it. We didn't have any restrictions in those days, man. We just went balls to the wall. We fucked up. You know, if there was somebody need punching, they got it. And if you had to go to jail, you did. All this bullshit about being a good citizen and working hard and going to college, forget it. Catch as many waves as you can, enjoy yourself, drink hard, and screw your brains out. I don't give a shit what board, you got the best board in the world. And it's hard. Yeah. That's what it's all about, man. It's better than a goddamn orgasm when it gets right down to it, man. There's nothing that that adrenaline and that stoked job that you're on for those few split seconds that anybody can ever take away from you. There's 10, 15 guys out there that know what we're talking about, and the rest of the world's never gonna know. <laughs> I just had one theory. When you got the kicked out of you, you didn't put your board in the car and go home. You always had to go out, catch a couple more waves, so that you always left her with a good feeling. This is a foolproof method of measuring the size of a wave. You start down the face of that wave, paddling like hell, you stand up, you grab your and you take the drop. If you've made it, you paddle in and you check <laughs> If there's a, a clean handprint on your you know it was a big son of That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good.